Hi everyone, Janie and Robbie here today. We have such a fun day planned. A huge this is gonna be a two video day for sure. It's gonna so be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> Robbie got to my house at 8 a.m. this morning. I left my house at 6 a.m. Oh, that's that's really early. It's really early. <laughs> we drove to my old stomping grounds, Petaluma, California. Jason and he's actually from Petaluma. I'm from the next town up uh north Santa Rosa. But we decided to spend the day here and I think it'll be really fun. There are like 20 antique stores here so mm -hmm. we're gonna go antiquing but right now and for this video we are at a place called cottage gardens of petaluma which is the cutest garden center you can ever imagine it and, was very cozy when you drive in mm -hmm. like, like it's like one nice. lane road and everything yeah. like that i'll show you all in a second um but the reason why we're here i subscribe to fine gardening magazine online i read a bunch of articles on there and i love it and there was one woman and i'm gonna pronounce her name wrong it's like, it's like Fionola, Fionola. Um, I'll ask her how to pronounce her name in a second. Um, but uh, she writes these amazing articles and I've been, I've been reading them for a while now. And so finally I thought I'm going to email her and see if I can come and meet her. And she wrote back super sweet. She said, yes, come. And then hopefully I will be able to get to video, uh, some more, some more videos in the future, kind of the same way that I do with Eileen at Van Winden's because the articles that she writes are fantastic. If you all don't, I think you get three free articles for Fine Gardening Magazine every month. So check out her articles, especially if you live in Northern California, because she writes specifically for Northern California. Anyway, we are going to go in. I will give you guys a little bit of a tour of Cottage Gardens of Petaluma, and then hopefully we can meet her. It's really nice it's, already. It's cute, right? Yeah. Look at this place. Isn't it beautiful? So Petaluma is about an hour north of San Francisco. So we are closer to the coast right now. It's a lot foggier and overcast here um, just because, it, like I said, it's closer to the coast. So it's still, zone, I'm pretty sure it's still zone 9B here, um, but it's just kind of like a little bit of a cooler zone 9B. And coming in here, you can see veggies, lots and lots and lots of veggies. How fun. What a fun place. If you all hear squeaking, it's my boot. <laughs> Robbie's. Could we have oiled your boot? Oh, stop it. Robbie, Robbie said, is that a frog in your boot? <laughs> Robbie. No. You need those. I really need these. Those are so pretty. Those are so you. Oh, I love it. Oh this my God. So Look at it. Look at this place. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, <gasps> look at the concrete balls. Oh my God, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get a couple. Look at the balls. I want some balls. This is incredible. These are really pretty. On top of the aviary? Well, how much are they? Oh, this is 200. 200. You, you have expensive taste. They have very expensive taste. Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> I need something aluminum. Ooh, look at the black swans. You know, yeah, those two. The statuary here is amazing. Holy moly, you're not kidding. All right, everyone. I want to introduce you to someone very special, Fanula. She is the owner of Cottage Gardens of Petaluma. And I became obsessed with you when I was reading your articles from Fine Gardening Magazine. I already talked a little bit about that. So how long has Cottage Gardens of Petaluma been open? Cottage Gardens has been here for 31 or 32 years now. Oh yeah. Did you start it? I did not start okay. it. We had a great founder and a really good vision. Uh -huh. And I joined in 2002. Wow. Yes. So I've been here for 22 years now. What a special place to right. spend your time at. I mean, it is magical. This place is incredible. And it's the dead of winter. And you have so much beauty and so much. Your vegetables. I mean, yes. How how do you have so many beautiful vegetables? I am particularly proud of those vegetables oh, because good. we have an amazing staff. Um, and I'm obsessed with vegetables myself, like not just tomatoes like everybody else, right. but odd varieties of escarole or um, 
even strange varieties of lettuce that have been heirloom lettuces for hundreds of years. Interesting. I will track down those seeds oh, and I will find those seeds and we'll grow them and then be able to offer them to our customers. So you grow all these vegetables from seed? Yeah, from seed. Oh, we have God. three greenhouses out there and I have a staff that is so meticulous and so detailed and so wonderful about it. That's incredible. Yeah, and we have some seed saving as well that I want to share about. There's this one particular seed. Uh -huh. um, it is a crimson flowered fava bean and it's really, really rare. You cannot find the seeds of it anywhere. Oh my goodness. I know, but about 10 years ago, I was given 20 seeds for these. Oh. I know. It was so cool. You're like, ah! Oh. Uh, it was like so precious. It was oh my so precious. goodness. So from those 20 seeds, we pretty much created a program to be able to offer people crimson flowered fava beans. So can you get them here? Yeah, you can get them here. And I encourage everybody to save the seeds. Oh my God, I'm totally going to no get one. Way. I know you were definitely getting one. That's wow. so neat. And this is Cottage Gardens of Petaluma, you guys. Stop by. I'll give you a little bit more of a tour. So you were telling us there's the succulent area over there. Yep. There's the shade walk we have to go mm -hmm. through. What else? The rose clematis. area. Clematis. We have a really great selection of clematis. Our succulents are incredible. Our sun perennials are down there. And then just what Robbie was saying, your evergreens here. Yes, are the in. evergreens are amazing. Enjoy those evergreens though, because they are kind of the highlight right yeah. now. Yeah. Different textures, different colors, different forms. I mean, they're sculptural and they're, they're so beautiful. beautiful. And this time of year, they really, really pop. Yeah. When not much else is happening. Yeah. And it offers you colors. And I mean, just over there, I've got three or four varieties. It's and you gorgeous. can see, you can see what they do. Look at that. Oh, Isn't those that so are beautiful. beautiful. They're actually really pretty. Wow. Yes. Will they like grow up? Like a patrellus or anything like that? Not a trellis. They're okay. about two feet tall. They're a little shorter than regular fava beans. And then the pods are also a little shorter and squarer. Oh, how fun. It's very interesting. Oh my gosh. And the blooms are just, they're, they're so pretty. They're gorgeous. How fun. I'm totally getting that. Yeah. I call yeah. the one with the blooms. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I even discovered it was, I was, I was at somewhere, a garden show or something. Uh -huh. I was a garden artist and she'd been painting a lot of different vegetables. Uh -huh. And she painted one of these and I was like, I don't think there's such a thing as a crimson poppy bean. And then she goes, oh yes, there is. Oh my uh, goodness. 20 seeds. Oh my and goodness. That, that was, so that's where you got the that's 20, seeds. Got 20 seeds. Good chill. Yeah, that's so amazing. She east somewhere. So she went back east and she mailed them to me. Oh, that is that's amazing. So what a fun story, story to have. It is a fun story to have. And that's really how I have a lot of things here. Oh, I mean, there's I mean, a story I'm, behind them. Oh, those are really pretty. That's too. incredible. I mean, look at this. It's just so beautiful. My name was Priya. Are you all zone 9B here? Yeah. It is zone 9B here. But having said that, there's like little bits of the property here that are super cold. Yeah. I'll show you a little more. This is our warmest house because of where the sun comes up over there. And oh my gosh. Here, this is over there. Okay. It gets the most heat and that's why we grow the most heat loving. The peppers and tomatoes are grown in this mm -hmm. one. Oh, this is so neat. And you said 200 varieties of tomatoes? Over 200. Over 200, yeah. excuse me. I just love it. say 200, it sounds less. Yeah. I'm like, oh, 200. <laughs> <laughs> growing roses. I stopped counting at around 60. Oh my like, oh, gosh. Can you, can you have 78 roses? And Fanula, she gets, well, she gets David Austin roses. <laughs> So we, Robbie and I are already planning to come back. You'll have to email me or when the... Or the <laughs> Greenhouse number two. Hi, Hi Melissa. Hi. How are you? This is the most romantic nursery I've ever been to. Hands down. So you have to do it from cutting. This is what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, you're even growing violas, violas. Mm -hmm. Edible flowers. Kale oh, from cuttings. Oh my! Kale from cuttings. How fun! Look at that. So that this house is a little bit cooler than the last yeah. one we were in. The last one is the warmest one. And that has your tomatoes and your peppers in it mainly. And then this is most of the herbs. Mm -hmm. Oh, how fun. And the next one is a cooler house, and that's where the cool pots are going. Oh, fun! Can we yeah. see that? Mm -hmm. Which you can feel. It's you can feel it's cooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go, a little winter green happening. Oh, the world, so the are blend here. I um, just can't believe how much you all grow here. Yeah. It's amazing. 
all of our vegetables are going here. One, two. Look at your roses! It goes yeah. all the way back. Do you see? All the way to the back. Oh my goodness. David Austin's aren't even here yet. David Austin's are coming. You're still needing another load. <laughs> David Austin's are coming. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at all these roses. Look at all the tree roses. Of all the muddy colored roses. Right, that's here. my favorite. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's my favorite. Oh, rose. what did you call it? Muddy. Muddy colored? Muddy colored roses. That is distant drums. It's just this changeable colors with tan and pink and purple. There's so much going on in it that it's, you just can stare at it forever. How yeah. gorgeous. Oh my The gosh. other one is Coco Loco. I love Coco Loco. Oh, I want to add that to my garden. It is wonderful. And then, honey Dijon. Oh, I've heard of that one too. I have 60 bazillion pictures of Coco Loco on my phone. <laughs> and so each one, each flower is different though in the color that it changes, right? Yeah. Did you get more of a true brown color in uh, it? Here comes her phone. <laughs> yeah. There's, when it's budding, there's pink. There's other colors in it. Oh, there's pink in it also. Yes. Pink okay. in the it's it's really interesting. I've never heard of this one, Honey Dijon. Mm, I have that too. It's That's just, a new one. You can make bouquets out of weird colored roses and they all come together really great oh and fun some purple in there especially when everything. you get all the colors in one rose yeah i love how healthy these all look look how like yeah. thick the stalks look are at some i mean mm -hmm. that's ridiculous you see that one back there yes i'm oh, zooming in on it right now <laughs> you might need it. Uh -huh. it's a massive stock that's crazy I'm not kidding. This is the most beautiful garden center I've been to. It's, Do you agree? It's organized so nicely. Isn't too. this place beautiful? And this is the pathways you want to do. Oh, you're right. Post granite. Oh, you're right. I didn't even notice that, but yes, it absolutely is. Oh, hellebores. look at the hellebores. They're already blooming. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's more around the corner. You guys. Look at these dark ones. Look at. <gasps> oh. I want to add Something mirrors here? to the garden. I have a mirror in my garage that I want to put in my garden. I want to add a mirror to my garden this oh, year. Oh, look at how pretty that looks. Could you imagine growing vines around it? Oh my goodness. I bet she grows vines. Well, we're in the vine section. Look, she even has like mossy things. I wish we could grow moss. She's got good taste, yeah. right? We like the cottage design. She's got really good taste. A cow? Anybody want a cow? Oh my gosh, look at this place. It's so pretty. Robbie, you need these. I was just looking at those. They're 350. They're only 350. Oh, only? Only 350. I only need two of them. You can totally afford $700, $700. on things. <laughs> look at the wall. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really pretty, Robbie. Oh, look at the camellia. Pretty. So she said this is her wisteria. She's growing her wisteria up and over, and they're doing really, really well. Oh, look at that. Isn't that so cute? Oh, that's so cute. What? You're looking at something else. Was I? I was just looking at that. At <laughs> topiary? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? So cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I love this place. Ah! Look at all the balls. I love them. Here is the succulent section that Fanua told us about. So she says that it's really amazing in the summer, but these are still lasting throughout the winter, even even with the weather here. It's here, it doesn't exactly get cold, but it does get pretty foggy and pretty just kind of uh, gloomy during the winter. Oh my goodness, look at these. Those are beautiful. Look at them holding the water. Vanula showed us this wasabi arugula and she let us try it and it literally tastes like wasabi. It is the neatest thing. I am definitely getting one of these. I have all that bolted broccoli I need to replace. Ooh, what's that? It's a mustard. That's very pretty. I liked the idea that you had said about growing some greens in the landscape. Oh yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Kind of gives it a cottagey vibe. Totally. So I'm thinking maybe doing something like some of these in the landscape as little accent pieces. Plus, how inspiring was she when she was talking about veggies? I know. 
It's like, I want a pizza. Makes her all of a sudden really enjoy veggies. I know, all of a sudden, I want more veggies. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try these honey snap peas. Look how fun those look. We have our haul. Here's our little haul that we've got here. First of all, we have the amazing crimson fava beans that she's giving to us. Thank you, Fanula. Then I have frisee, which is this. This is on, is that on dive? Frisee? And V, and D, V, E. And V, frisee. We have, oh, here's the wasabi arugula. I honey snap peas. And then which one are you getting? This is Robbie's. He's getting the, oh, you're getting the Ms. Americana. Ms. America. Ms. America. Yeah. I kind of want those too. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. I'm going to go to landscape. Can I grab one? Can you do it? I'll grab it. All right. We're good to go. We're good. Okay, I want so many other things, but I'm holding myself back. Do you think I should get an evergreen though? I was thinking the same thing. We have so much shopping to do though today too. But... You know what? I'm going to come back in like two weeks for the <laughs> for the David Austin roses. So, okay. We're obsessed. We found a tree dahlia. Look. The worms they got. Dahlia imperialis. <gasps> I'm so jealous. Well, they obviously don't cut this back. Look at the trunks. Oh my goodness. This place is amazing. Stallion. How tall do you think this is? Um, 12 feet? 12 feet tall. I'm going to say 12 feet. 12 feet tall. 12 feet. With the sheep in the background. Oh my God, this is so funny. All right, everyone. So I think Robbie and I are obsessed with this place. This place is so incredibly magical. And it's not only because of the location, the sheep in the background, it's kind of overcast and foggy and dreamy, but the people who work here are like the most passionate gardeners ever. Fanula is just, she is so, I, like you just want to sit there and be her friend and talk to her forever. She knows so much about gardening and she's so passionate about gardening. I mean, just listening to her talk, talk about vegetables is <laughs> it's like, I want to be her best friend and follow her around all day. So it is such a fun place. I'm sure I will be back here so many more times because it is the dead of winter. It is the quietest time here and there's still so much going on. So you can imagine in spring or summer, this place must be incredible. Absolutely incredible i mean even the dahlia tree right behind me oh i just love it i love it so much so we were really good we are going antiquing and going out to lunch i couldn't buy too much stuff we just bought some veggies and uh, we have the crimson fava, fava beans from Fanola. So I'm so excited about that. What a fun day. What a fun place to visit. If you all are anywhere near Petaluma, come here for sure. It is definitely a stop that you all need to make. So I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.